Everybody, welcome back. We're talking Marvel Snap, the season pass. There's some changes in it. Is it still worth it? We're gonna look at exactly what the value in this is. It's typically a good buy. Does that change make it still worth it? And what are people saying about it? So let's jump right into this. Season pass comes along once every 30 days, always brings a new card. I'm not gonna go through every single one of these items. There is one that I'm going to focus on because it's the only change in the month outside of the fact that we've got a new card, new variants, those type of things. That's normal. You always get the brand new card, a variant for that card, and then two existing cards, you get variants, avatars, and boosters for those. And then they've got the credits, the gold, and some other mystery variants. And it always goes up to 50, and then after 50 is just every everything's free. And within one to 50, things are either free or they're not free. And you can tell if it's free or not because it literally says right there, it says 41 is free, 42 is not free. So whenever you get enough season pass points to get to that point, you either get it or you don't based on whether you spent the money. It's $10 for the season pass. You can upgrade it for another like five bucks to get 10 more levels. I never do that. I don't think it's necessarily worth it because the stuff you get later. The part we're gonna focus on, item number 47. That was free last season and now it's not. It's a mystery variant. So let's look at the numbers to see if that changes anything. So of course I've got a spreadsheet for this and the way I've got it and I track them Every season I've been playing, I track this stuff. So I've got a money section and a free section. And the free section, we're not gonna focus on that, but we'll talk about it as we go along. So there's 300 gold and free, 900. In the free section, we get 300 gold. In the money section, where you're paying to get that premium pass, you get 900. So that 900 gold is pretty solid. You can only get 300 credits when you buy the premium pass, which isn't that lot, which actually is really good for free to play because free to play players get 2,300 credits. You get five miscellaneous cards backs, uh, titles, avatars, 230 boosters in the paid premium pass. That's not bad. I mean, it's typically for the, the new card and then the variants of the cards that they've got in this season pass. You get some other random ones in there, but most of them are for those three specific type of cards. And then you get eight actual cards or variants or something along those lines, which is pretty good. Two of the new ones, you get uh, two variants of the existing cards and you get some mystery cards. It's a lot of cards for money. This month, there are zero actual cards in there that are what you're gonna get for anything free, nothing, you get nothing. The spot where this changed that, as I mentioned, is 47. It was a regular mystery card. It was free before, now it's not. I mean, that's really unfortunate. I think that why, I mean, I feel like Hitmonkey versus Nimrod, people were probably gonna buy Hitmonkey anyway, maybe it was a little bit more popular. So maybe they're giving it to more people, but I guess what's the difference? If it's free, it's free. Like everybody gets if it's free. If you're paying money, did they think there were gonna be less sales for Hitmonkey? Were there less sales for Nimrod? So they wanted to maybe encourage more people to buy? I'm not really sure there. Either way, there you still, for $10, you get a decent amount of stuff here. Let's jump into the actual base pricing for what you get out of this. So this is the first time that I've actually put a season pass in my base pricing spreadsheet. The way this spreadsheet works is I put in the actual cost of it. I've got a base pricing value based on everything that's in the game and I see how much of a percent discount it is. So season pass hit monkey. We already talked about everything you get out of it. That's basically $120 worth of stuff. I put the $10 cost for the gold. I also use the 700 gold cost for the variants. And then since there's a new card in there, I wasn't exactly sure how to do that. So I just took the 1200 variants and multiplied it by two. Not a great thing, because I actually think the new cards are worth more than that. But either way, it's at least $120 value worth of stuff that you get for 10 bucks, which is a gigantic 91.7% discount. That is by far one of the highest percent discounts of anything you're going to get in this game. Even with the base pricing being something that's always really high, I think that the season passes are always worth it. Some people are gonna be upset that that mystery card is flipped over to the cost section, but the truth is, is even without it, even with it free, the season pass really is worth it. And I personally always support the developers and the game companies doing something to make money in this game. So I always want some people to pay something in there because free to play game, to play, free to play, but not free to make. So I always want them to make money so that we can all continue to play the game as long as possible. So is this worth it? A thousand percent. Easy, slam dunk, don't even think about it. Now, if you're really upset about that change that I was talking about, there is a Reddit post that they have that they removed moved it again. Um, again, I don't know why they did this. It doesn't make any sense to me. The value in the season pass is already there. I wouldn't do something like this 
to already upset people who are already sort of upset. Where if you're gonna do it, just leave it alone because you can't really get a good gauge on flipping that back and forth because a lot of it's dependent on the card that you're offering them. I think Hitmonkey is a little bit more, I'd say desired over Nimrod. Nimrod was a pretty tough card to get the play right. I mean, you can still do good things with Nimrod. I enjoyed it a little bit, but it's hard. It's a, it's one of the last cards you can typically play in a destroy deck and there's not a lot of ways in a destroy deck to bring cards early. So if you want to go through here and talk about it a lot, I mean, a lot of people say what you'd expect to say in here where it's, it's unfortunate, you know, they were either spending already or they weren't. It's up to you. But if you want to go voice your opinion on it, come to this Reddit post, check it out. I don't really have anything else to chime in on this. I think it's a great value. I would definitely buy it if you're looking to spend it all. If you're free to play, then this stuff shouldn't bother you at all because free to play is just here to play. It's what you want to do. So video has been helpful for you at all. Please Please consider hammering down that like button, notification bell, show the aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.